Good morning, Wednesday uh, or afternoon. We're a bit late today. Yeah, it's been. Uh, I was uh, I was away. Unfortunately, I was at a funeral this morning. I know. Um, a good friend of mine, his dad passed away. But anyhow, we're here. We're going to talk about uh, Scotch and Japanese whiskey. Uh, one of the ones that we featured um, a few times in the auction, and we often talk about the names for them, is the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society ones, the SMWS. I can spell it. Oh, I'm clever. Um, the names, I, I just, I think I really would enjoy sitting down with the guys that come up with the names of that and drinking, because I reckon it would be just mental. Why don't we have Irish whiskey that somebody should come out with this? Never mind this, you know, our tip of the hat to Bally go backwards back in the 1840s when some call it, you know, I can't say what I was about to say. I was about to say something quite rude, but I can't call it that. No. So we'll call it something else instead. A jam jar of pesto. So that is a space side, first fill, ex bourbon cask, nine year old. Um, they don't often um, identify the distillery it comes out of, but it gives a sort of region, so you know where yeah. it's coming out of. Um, again, the notes on these things, fresh basil, rosemary and gooseberries, giant blackberry jam, cherries and marmalade, while toasted oak merged with tobacco leaves and coconut. What in the blue jizz has that got to do with jam jar or pesto? Desert Island Dram. So this is uh, um, uh, an Isla Malt refill ex bourbon hogshead, and it is on a desert island with toasted marshmallows, sizzling prawns, sweet turtle meat smoked on the fire, baked potato, and washed up Coca Cola. Mad shit. I mean, just mad shit. It's the only way to describe it. Uh, Welsh giant in the Jamaican Blue Mountains, and members remember embers. What? <laughs> it's just madness I think it's brilliant uh, I'm loving the, the the colour codes on the lids as well uh, I think they were looking a tiny tipple and took a leaf out of his book more than likely so that's what that is uh, so that's got the 7 year old the 10 year old again I think it might be the age statements maybe that's what it is I've actually never identified any of what it is um, beside that we have an old bottle of White Horse um, Scotch Whiskey so these old bottles can get quite a pretty penny um, I don't know why I've never tasted one of them I'm sure there's guys like um, Paul or guys like that who'll probably know a wee bit more about it than me Black Friday uh, that was the one that was produced by the Whiskey Exchange 18 year old from the Orkney Islands way up way way up out the Hebrides or the Inner Hebrides or out of Mongolia or somewhere like that uh, 2018 edition Glenfiddich Glenfiddich Grand Reserva, look at that. Really know. I know. Aren't they super? Aren't they just fantastic presentations? They're fab. They really are. 21 year old. That is like, actually, I reckon the person that designed this was probably in the room when they were smoking stuff that came up with the names for them. More than likely. Um, because that's that's a psychedelic dream. That's what that that's is. That's fab. Or a nightmare. Or no, one of the three. that's lovely. I put up that there because I wanted to talk about your, of your love for Lefroig. No. Isla whiskey listen I get that people love it and I'm not knocking it just me personally I can't stomach it she's a bit rough are you I just think it is and there is guys who genuinely do yeah. love the and PX no and the PX cask as well is probably one of the more gentler ones from the Lerfroig but they're still like a oh, yeah. smack in the face and it's there for about three days yeah dirty ashtray and you just go like that and, and, and everything you eat and yeah. drink yep yeah. Tea, tastes. coffee, it everything. Doesn't matter. Tastes like it all tastes like that right, right. for about three days. Yes, exactly. Okay, so <laughs> will you be buying that in this month's auction? No, no. Okay, fair enough. Um, Bowmore, we put these up because they've got Aston Martins on the front of it. That's your next car, isn't it? No, no. Maserati. Maserati. Yeah, yes. Maserati. Yes. Um, she was on. You were on or, that. Or the Jag that looks like the. Aston Martin only for it's a hundred and twenty thousand. The, 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 the per man's Aston Martin. It's a hundred and twenty thousand. That's not a per man's car. Yeah, but it's still per man's Aston Martin. And it looks way nicer. Yeah, anyway, okay. go on. Uh, this is a tie-up with uh, the Bowmore Distillery again, another Isle of Scotch, um, and they've uh, teamed up with uh, Aston Martin to put the Aston Martin name in it. I'm not sure what Aston Martin is bringing to the world of Scotch whiskey, other than here's a pretty picture on the front of it, and people want to get one of everyone. 
Uh, there's a 10 year old there's a 15 year old one they are selling well they are uh, a lot they of them I think are done for travel retail it's probably just an airport thing to catch your eye as you go yeah. through the airport um, all the short of I mean it's like the Irish ones just put a leprechaun on the front of the damn thing and we're away we go Glenelachie the reason I put up the Glenelachie and the Shivas also is the two of them there is they're single casks and uh Single cask and, and usually a cask strength as well. I mean, that one's at 59% and this one is at 49.1%. The reason I've done that was the price point of single cask in Scotland is so much cheaper, so much more competitive than where we're at here yeah. at the minute. Now, again, I know a lot of the single cask that we currently have in the market are legacy bottles from age stock, either from yeah. Cooley or Bushmills or wherever. And so there is a premium to them because they're so scarce. Yeah. But going forward, I hope that with all of the distilleries that we now have, that they can produce a single cask product. Now, a single cask product, and again, I've, I've had this conversation with Charlotte and a few other guys, that single casks don't pay the bills for a distillery. No. They are not, by any stretch of the imagination, I mean, when, when, when um, Dunville spring out, the, the, or Ecklenville brings out the latest Dunville single cask, it's great, it sells out, it gives them a few pounds. But it wouldn't even begin to put a dent Probably, in the bills yeah. for the distillery or anything like that. But I, I, I think they need to sort of come back. That's who we've got to be competing against. That's what we want to be able to hold our own on the international markets. I mean, brand loyalty or country loyalty will get you so far. Yeah. But if you don't literally stand up alongside them, you know, on, on taste and on pricing, then where are we going to be? And I'm again... A lot of them don't even bother <coughs> putting them in any fancy. I mean, the 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 the, the Glenrothes bottles. You know the ones in the wee in, wooden box in, and in the, the wee round bottles. Yeah. yeah. I mean, again, not a huge amount put into the presentation, but it's at the right price point that you want to buy it. I put up that because well, it's got a little handbag on it. What do you think? You could drink the bottle and then you could use it as a man bag. I could use it. Man bags are all in fashion they these are. days. Everybody has a has a man bag. There's nothing wrong uh, with it. Barry has a man bag. When Barry goes on holidays, he takes his little man bag with him and, and, and goes everywhere. So, and that says... Don't knock it till you try it. I, I tried the whole... Uh, look, it's not. I'm not. Do I look like somebody who... Some, well, fashion. T-shirts. Getting a bit thin in the ground. <coughs> Scam. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Japanese whiskey. We have a few of these in, and again, uh, the Yamazaki 10, Yamazaki 12, Yamazaki 18. Um, age statement, Japanese whiskey has been going and still has been riding high yeah. very much in the secondary market. The Cheetah, uh, this is a no age statement one, this is the distiller's reserve. Um, that's a single grain. Some single grain um, Japanese whiskey is genuinely their own single grain whiskey. Right. I mean, there's, there's all that sort of speculation about the single malts and the blends and all that. Is it actually their own? But it, actually, the majority, sorry, of single grain Japanese whiskey is their own. Uh, I know there was stuff can move that coolie and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, two of the other ones that's left there is a Takatsuru, uh, one of them in the presentation. Uh, and that's the 21 year old and that is the no age statement one as well uh, I'm, I'm nearly sure that's the no age statement one it is the no age statement one yeah no age statement 43% um, Japanese again has been riding high it, it's starting to thin down on us we haven't been getting as many again the prices in, uh, looking at the UK markets have been doing great guns yeah. um, especially what everybody knows is the hibikis and stuff like that they go really so much higher than everything else but I think that they're, they're sleepers I think is the best way to describe some yeah. of these there was a time when you were buying these for pennies I mean literally I know I was I was the lad who was buying hibikis and drinking it um, so you were buying them cheap who was buying it? you were usually buying them you're a facilitator baby yeah that's me you are a facilitator yes you like to have me drunk because I'm docile and usually asleep <laughs> isn't that it? Imagine the peace and quiet I did the have. The peace and quiet I did have after 24 four years. I knew it well. I could remember every day like it was. Yeah, you can. It was every day like it was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Trust us. Technically. <laughs> every day is a new adventure. Woo! Um, so that's it. 
they're the ones, as I said, there's a few more, a fair few more scotch. Um, we have been growing our scotch contingency every month and yeah. it's been great. Um, it's a chicken and egg scenario. You need the bottles to attract the buyers and yeah. you need the prices to be attracting the sellers to give you the bottles and it's it's just what comes first. And it's all down to people having a bit of confidence in us. And, and the Japanese thing might just pick up now with Method and Madness's new Yes, Japanese we were again last thing. night. We were, we, Jesus, we're living the high life lately. We are literally rolling. I mean, so this is what it's like. Uh, Omar and all them influencers. This is what life is like. You know, so, yeah, yeah. when do we wake up and do we click our fingers and people come and do stuff for us? First time you click your fingers at somebody, I would take your head clean off. Okay, let's not do that then. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, so we were at the tasting of the new Method of Madness Japanese experience. Yeah, there was three of them. Um, the the first one was a, a Japanese oak, which is um, really nice. Um, along the same veins as the French oak. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, a cedar wood one, or what people had known as the the sugi. Yeah. Um, there the challenges of Japanese wood trees is that they're extremely porous. Yeah. The grains aren't condensed, so you lose so you much lose so much. I mean, Finbar was talking about that last night. Uh, Finbar is the uh, maturation, one of the maturation guys in Middleton looks after the barrels and sourcing the barrels. And he says, like, three years, what you lose is, is you know, yeah, it's, it, it's more of a, a, a strainer or a sieve yeah. rather than a filter, as he called it last <laughs> night, rather than an actual maturation period. Yeah. So they're only in it for three years, I think, is the maximum was the 33-year-old the mm. is only in for three years. All the threes, 33, 35, 37. Um, but it's nice. It is all the trees as well. It's prices, all the trees all as the well. Trees, yes, it um, is, yes. It was nice. Yeah, really, I enjoyed I enjoyed them as an arrow finish, so it's a different one. But Japanese is the authentics. And of course, of course. Well. But maybe it'll just help boost the market and the interest. I don't think that the Japanese market is really depending on what method. No, I mean here have. in Ireland, just it'll get people... Because there was a lot of people trivia that didn't know a lot about Japanese whiskey. Yeah, they don't know a lot about Japanese whiskey, but yeah. I mean, buying a method of madness isn't going to change that. That's not what I'm saying. Right, okay, what are you saying? Their promotion of Japanese influence. Because we were eating a bit of sushi and there was somebody playing a gong over in the corner. That's got oh, nothing to do with it. Oh, me I could do the playing of the gong here. So, you know, um... You done now? Nope. Can I go now? Of course you can. Okay, and we will be back tomorrow, and tomorrow is a Thursday. Yes. Um, and don't forget, we do have Silent 1, Silent 2, and uh, MVR's bottom number ones in the background. We shall talk to you tomorrow, Thursday. Bye.